Donovan Audio Pages presents The Purpose Driven Life by Rick Warren, read by the author. A Journey with Purpose, Getting the Most from This Book. This is more than a book. It's a guide to a 40-day spiritual journey that will enable you to discover the answer to life's most important question, what on earth am I here for? By the end of this journey, you will know God's purpose for your life, and you'll understand the big picture, how all the pieces of your life fit together. Having this perspective will reduce your stress, simplify your decisions, increase your satisfaction, and most important, prepare you for eternity. Your next 40 days. Today, the average lifespan is 25,550 days. That's how long you'll live if you're typical. Don't you think it would be wise use of your time to set aside 40 of those days to figure out what God wants you to do with the rest of them? Now, the Bible is clear that God considers 40 days a spiritually significant time period. Whenever God wanted to prepare someone for his purposes, he took 40 days. Noah's life was transformed by 40 days of rain. Moses was transformed by 40 days on Mount Sinai. The spies were transformed by 40 days in the promised land. David was transformed by Goliath's 40-day challenge. Elijah was transformed when God gave him 40 days of strength from a single meal. The entire city of Nineveh was transformed when God gave the people 40 days to change. Jesus was empowered by 40 days in the wilderness. And the disciples were transformed by 40 days with Jesus after his resurrection. The next 40 days will transform your life. This book is divided into 40 brief chapters. I strongly urge you to read only one chapter a day, so you'll have time to think about the implications for your life. The Bible says, let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will know what God wants you to do. One reason most books don't transform us is that we are eager to read the next chapter and we don't pause and take time seriously to consider what we've just read. We rush to the next truth without reflecting on what we've learned. Don't just read or listen to this book. Interact with it. Underline it. Write your own thoughts in the margins. Make it your book. Personalize it. The books that have helped me the most are the ones that I reacted to, not just read. Four features to help you. At the end of each chapter is a section called Thinking About My Purpose. There you will find a point to ponder. This is a nugget of truth that summarizes a principle of purpose-driven living that you can reflect on throughout your day. Paul told Timothy, Reflect on what I am saying, for the Lord will give you insight into all this. A verse to remember. This is a Bible verse that teaches a truth from that chapter. If you really want to improve your life, memorizing scripture may be the most important habit you could begin. You can either copy these verses down on small cards to carry with you, or purchase a Purpose Driven Life scripture and affirmation pack. Then there's a question to consider. These questions will help you think about the implications of what you have read and how it applies to you personally. Let me encourage you to write your answers in the margin of this book or in a notebook or get a copy of the Purpose Driven Life Journal, a companion book designed for this purpose. Writing your thoughts on paper is the best way to clarify them. The best way to explain God's purpose for your life is to allow Scripture to speak for itself. This book contains over a thousand quotes and references to Scripture. I've intentionally varied the Bible translations used for two important reasons. First, No matter how wonderful a translation is, it has its limitations. The Bible was originally written using 11,280 Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek words, but the typical English translation uses only around 6,000 English words. Obviously, nuances and shades of meaning can be missed, so it's always helpful to compare translations. Another important reason for using so many translations and paraphrases is the fact that we often miss the full impact of familiar Bible verses, not because of poor translating, but because they've become so familiar. We think we know what a verse says because we've read it or heard it so many times. Then when we find it quoted in a book, we skim over the verse and miss the full meaning. So I've deliberately used paraphrases in order to help you see God's truth in new, fresh ways. While not intended for in-depth study, paraphrases are often great for catching the tone or spirit of a verse. 
English-speaking people should thank God that we have so many different versions for use in devotional reading. Also, since the verse divisions and numbers were not included in the Bible until 1560 A.D., I haven't always quoted the entire verse, but rather focused on a key phrase. My model for this is Jesus and how he and the apostles quoted the Old Testament. They often just quoted a phrase that taught an important truth. I've been praying for you. As I wrote this book, I often prayed that you would experience the incredible sense of hope and energy and joy that come from discovering what God has put you on this planet to do. There's nothing quite like it. I'm excited because I know all the great things that are going to happen to you. They happen to me, and I've never been the same since I discovered the purpose of my life. Because I know the benefits, I want to challenge you to stick with this spiritual journey for the next 40 days, not missing a single daily reading. Your life is worth taking the time to think about it. Make it a daily appointment on your schedule. If you'll commit to this, let's sign a covenant together. There is something significant about signing your name to a commitment. If you get a partner to read through this with you, have him or her sign it too. Let's get started together. If you would like to make this covenant with me, I would encourage you to write down this sentence, sign your name to it, and get your partner to sign your name also. It says, with God's help, I commit the next 40 days of my life to discovering God's purpose for my life. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes 4, 9-12, two are better off than one, because together they can work more effectively. If one of them falls down, the other can help him up. Two can resist an attack that would defeat one person alone, and a rope of three cords is hard to break.